Okay, Greg here, and I'm back with another tutorial. This time I'm going to talk a little bit more about the uh, uh, DMDs that are in uh, Visual Pinball X uh, and uh, show you how to, how to do some playing with those. I'm going to launch Pinball Emporium here. Again, this should work in any of the front ends you're using. It, it works if I just launch it from uh, Visual Pinball X without the front end. The front end is nothing more than a means to get to the game. But I just added a game called Cactus Canyon. And I'm going to show you a little bit about how this one works. Last video I showed you how to delete or take off the external DMD if you don't want it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to adjust it and save it if you do want to keep it and why you would want to do this. Let's go up here to Cactus Canyon. Okay, Cactus Canyon. We'll load Cactus Canyon. Table loading. I thought I hit the load button, but evidently I didn't, so now we're getting it loaded. Now, again, my intention here is to show you what you can do with these DMDs. Remember my last video I showed you there were bat glasses that had the scores in them and the credits and everything and you really didn't need that DMD, that external DMD. But in this one it does not have anything up here. It's just an image, nice image, flashing lights, uh, show some images. But now you can go down here and click on this DMD and you can move it around. Now, as you can see, this one was okay, but sometimes you'll get them when you load the game up, and they'll be like this, or they'll be too big, or they'll be blocking the screen. So what you do is you just get this, and you can grab it right down here in the corner, and you can shrink it down, and it should go right inside this little square here that they made between the two speakers to simulate where a DMD would go. So Let's see, this would be about the right width here. A little too wide. Now we'll shrink it down a little bit in height. Okay, I'd say we've got that in there pretty good. Now, what you want to do is while your mouse is on that external DMD, right click it. And it gives you some choices. Save position globally. Don't want to save it that way. That's going to save your external DMD across all your tables in that location. Different tables may want different locations. Save position for CC13. Evidently that's the name it's depicted for this game. But you're saving position just for this game. Second one down, hit save this position. Now, just drag your mouse back over to where you think it's on your main table. I do not have that checkbox unclicked where I can see the mouse on the main table, uh, but I think I did it, and now I can hit D to load coin, D to load coin, see I got two credits, hit C to start the game, one player added, and the game starts to play. So again, this is how you can move your external DMD around on your back glass, save it, for that particular game and it'll always be there next time you come back. Sometimes you want to get rid of it, sometimes you want it there, but you just want it in a different location. So hope this helps. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like this kind of stuff, uh, hit thumbs up, subscribe. Uh, I'm going to try to put out some more stuff of little things you can do within your uh, pinball tables on your different pinball programs. I'll do some on future pinball, visual pinball, um, working with uh, Pinball Emporium, which is the one I like and I, I work with. So anyway, uh, subscribe and come back and I'll, I'll try to get more content out. Thanks for watching.